Welcome Flip Clock fans. This is the Panasonic RC6530 and the Panasonic RC1280. My two least favorite flip clocks in the whole world, both because they make a racket when they run. Not all of them, but most of them. And that's because of this right here. This is a canned motor. That's what I call it. It has all the gears and inner workings sealed inside. The can sits inside of an electromagnetic field, which turns an armature that gets the gears going. So more about these Panasonics. They came out in the 1970s, both of them. The Panasonic RC1280 is also known as the Morning Tone by Panasonic. All these clocks back in the day had names. The Panasonic RC6530 was called the New Dawn. The New Dawn, that's very hopeful. Now like I said, these clocks notoriously make noise when they run. A lot of people who've tried to get working clocks like these know that. I want to thank a subscriber to our channel who has let us know that he has an RC6530 he has run for two years. It still makes a little noise, but it doesn't affect the running. So that is something to consider if you don't mind a little racket with your flip clock. Now, some people have said, well, all you have to do is get oil in there. Now, some Telecron motors that look like this, the sealed cans that sit inside an electromagnetic field, they can be oiled and they can be returned to function again without any noise at all. These motors are not like those at all. I'm going to prove that to you, hopefully, and actually show it to you. Now, the reason is not to put these clocks down so much as it is to help you avoid getting a clock that you don't want. Now, this is the can part of the motor. Well, look at this. I've been described by some as a butcher when it comes to taking some of these apart, but there was a reason for that in this case. The can was sealed with this very strong red epoxy all along the edge. It took a long time to get that apart. And I found that epoxy had gone down inside the can. There was no way I was going to pull this apart without some brute force. So these motors do not lend themselves to being disassembled. What about oiling? I'm going to show you why oiling is not going to work for these clock motors. This situation came out in pretty good shape and I didn't mess it up when I took it apart. At this point I'm trying to study it and figure out the problem that would make the noise. That's a hard thing to determine because that armature there, the little circle things there, they kind of act like a speaker almost. So I thought for a while that they were making the noise because that's where it sounds like it's coming from. Right out of the backside of this can. That's exactly where it sounds like it's coming from. So little would be accomplished by by drilling into the into this part and putting oil there I said, I'm, I can, I'm getting the idea that these somehow this device here is making noise I don't know if something's coming loose but you see I've smothered this in oil there's that's not going to fix anything so I'm going to destroy this I don't care what you say. I'm just going to destroy it because I'm not doing to do anything with this. And there's no way I'm going to get this back together. When taking this apart, it popped the gear off that was on the end of the armature. And it's just a little small gear. What we do find out is that when we remove the gear, all the remaining gears move and there's no noise at all. It's completely silent. I put the armature back in and do a little spinning to see if it's the thing itself making the noise. I get it going pretty fast and you can see it's not that at all. So the problem is this little gear meshing with the other gear in there. When I look closer, there's no obvious breakdown of either gear in this train. It sounds negative, but to me you're better off going a different direction when it comes to these clocks. In other words, don't get one. I got lucky when I found new mechanisms for these clocks. If I were you though, I would pass on these two clocks unless you don't mind a little racket. Well, I hope this helps someone. Thanks for taking the time.